Anakin! I have the high ground! You underestimate my power! Don't try it! Welcome back, you fucking legends. Today I'm going to teach you how to play the Arms Warrior. Now, the Arms Warrior has got a very unique rotation compared to the Fury Warrior. It's more of a priority list than a rotation. So if you're looking to play a Warrior in Wrath of the Lich King, or maybe you're a Fury Warrior and you've never played Arms Warrior before and you just want to know what the rotation looks like, what it's like to play in a raid situation, I'm going to show you that today, boys. Let's have a look. Okay, boys, let's look at the macros. For arms, I've only got a few macros. The first macro being the old faithful charge and rend, which is used as your opener in a fight. And then during the fight, you just continue to use the macro to keep rend up as charge is a ranged ability and rend is a melee ability. So you can't possibly fuck this up, boys. The second macro is an AoE macro, which is cleave and thunderclap. Now the third macro, boys, is a fucking game changer. Instead of having another button for overpower, you can simply macro overpower into mortal strike by using the following. Now the way this macro works is the overpower will only activate if you have already cast a mortal strike. As it reads, it's a sequence. So in order, for example, you can't mortal strike twice in a row without using an overpower in the middle. This should never really fuck you over as the first opener you'll be using after you charge and rend will be a mortal strike. Now, if you find at any time that you're trying to use a mortal strike and it doesn't work, it could mean that your render's fallen off and you haven't gotten an overpower off and it's waiting for you to finish that sequence. I find that these two together sync so well as mortal strike is a five second cooldown and Taste for Blood procs every six seconds, if Taste for Blood actually wants to fucking proc. So with all that out of the way, boys, your priority list will look something like this. Bladestorm. Your first priority is Rend. Rend isn't completely dog shit and wrath. It scales off your weapon damage, and if the target is above 75% health, it deals 35% more damage. Having Rend up will proc your Taste for Blood talent, which will proc your overpower ability every six seconds. Now, this can fuck up. I believe there's a 25% chance on any one of your procs, except for the first one, that it can skip a Ren tick, which is really fucking annoying as you're there ready to hit overpower and it doesn't fucking proc. Now you're just standing around holding your fucking dick, losing DPS. So just keep that in mind, boys. Second prior is Execute, which thanks to your talent Sudden Death gives Execute a 9% chance to be used in battle regardless of your enemy's health. And it procs from any of your melee hits, so you don't not want to use this, as it can proc more sudden deaths off other moves. Sudden death can even proc off sudden death. You can get back-to-back -back executes. It's fucking amazing when it happens. Now, third on the list is your Taste for Blood overpower procs. Now, remembering that you have six seconds to use this before it will proc again. So if you get a sudden death proc, or you have a heap of rage, and mortal strikes up, use it. Just don't ever let your taste for blood procs run out. Fourth on the pro list is mortal strike. It syncs up really nicely. Like I said, mortal strike is a five second cooldown. Your taste for blood procs are every six seconds. You'll want to use mortal strike at least once in between every taste for blood proc. It syncs up really nicely that you'll hit mortal strike and you'll end up hitting your taste for blood proc. Think of it as you're prepping your taste for blood proc with a mortal strike. So you prep it with a mortal strike, knowing the taste of blood's coming up, and then you'll hit the same button again on the macro to proc your overpower. Now, fifth on the list is slam. Slam does do good damage. The only issue with slam as an arms warrior is that it's got a cast time. Now that cast time is reduced from improved slam down to 0.5 seconds. The good news is that it doesn't reset your swing timer. It just pauses it. So normally you'll be weaving in a slam after each auto attack. So you'll auto attack, slam and then you've got heroic strike only really used as a rage dump as most of your rage is getting spent on all of the above abilities in a raid you would just queue up heroic strike while bloodlust is up while you've got excessive rage but like i said it's really only a rage dump same with cleave unless you're in a aoe situation you're just dumping the rage with cleave and heroic strike okay with the priority list out of the way 
Quick shout out to my boy, Deep Wounds. Deep Wounds deals 48% of your weapon's average damage over six seconds, and it stacks infinitely. This is how on selected fights, Arms Warriors will beat Fury Warriors and DPS as Deep Wounds will keep on ticking throughout the fight. All right, boys, rotation time. Okay, so you open a right off the bat is going to be a charge rend. You never, ever want rend to fall off, ever. You will then lead straight into a mortal strike, and then your first taste for blood proc is always quicker than the rest of them. So you'll pop that as your second hit. So far, boys, in your rotation, you've hit two buttons, and you've casted four abilities, man. Fucking how good is that, boys? You then use slam after every auto attack, providing you have enough rage, and using execute as soon as you get that sudden death prop. Don't delay that. Hit execute. It's it's so good. All right, boys. Time to address the elephant in the room. Blade storm. I love using Blade Storm with any trinket uses I have. As far as AoE rotation goes, basically you just want to Blade Storm. Use that shit on cooldown for all trash fights. Just watch your fucking aggro, boys. You will pull while in Blade Storm if you hit that shit too early. And then along with the cleave and thunderclap macro, remembering that thunderclap has no mob limit, so it's very useful in big pool. You do still want to apply a rend to the tankiest looking mob, so you still get your taste for blood procs during the fight. Anyway, boys, thanks for watching. That's the arms warrior. Now get out there and fucking blade storm to the arms fall off, boys. Don't forget to like and sub, you fucking dogs.